Have you ever been helping your dad if he yells at you because you bent a nail? Well, I'm going to be showing you today in lab how to not bend nails if you're not a very good hammerer. I don't know if that's a word, but we're going to roll with it by using a nail gun. So stay tuned for more info. Hi everybody, welcome to Shop Shenanigans with Carly. Not really, this is a safety lesson, so pay attention. But we're going to learn how to be safe in the lab so we can have fun building things. So first of all, we're going to go over safety. So while in the laboratory setting, there are a few things you guys need to know. Jewelry is not allowed, like this bracelet here. Probably should be put in your backpack before class starts. However, these earrings are okay because they're studs, but if they were dangles, you would have to take them out too. And long ne necklaces or these cool strings, please tuck them in or take them out. They're not allowed in the lab. Um, next, we're gonna go over your proper PEE. So girls with long hair and even guys with long hair, um, before you enter the shop, please put your hair up like so in a ponytail or a bun just so you don't get it caught in anything or pull it out because that would be absolutely no fun. And so next, another huge safety thing we're in the, in the lab is safety glasses. Please always wear your safety glasses because you like your eyes and we like your eyes and we want you to be able to see. Up next, just to go over the rest of the proper PEE, please always wear long pants and closed toed shoes. If you're wearing sandals or shorts, you'll be asked to change or leave the lab setting. So in using compressed air like we will be using with our nail guns, please use the lowest possible pressure um, to accomplish the job you need. We don't need it like high pressure. We're not shooting things across the room. That is an absolute no-no in the lab. Um, avoid stretching the hose really far. So if there's like a hose on the other side of the classroom, try to find a hose close to you or move your project. Um, three, do not insert objects into the connections. Like no pencils, don't try to clean it out. If you have a problem, come get me and we'll fix it. Um, next is stand to the side while connecting and disconnecting the air lines. And do not use compressed air to clean off your clothes or any other body parts. If you're like dusty or something, just brush yourself off. Don't spray yourself off. And then next, do not direct the stream of air at any person. There will be absolutely no shooting people in this lab setting. Nail guns are a tool. They are not a weapon. <laughs> now we will head out to the shop and I will show you how to properly use a compressed air and the nail gun. See you out there. Hey, welcome to the lab. Um, I'm gonna show you how to hook your nail gun up to your compressed air hose. So this is our compressed hose in the lab. This is our on and on, on and off switch. I currently have it on so I can show you. So what you're gonna do to hook up the nail gun is you're gonna pull this down like so. You're gonna go like this, you're gonna press hard, and then you're gonna let go so there's no air leaking or anything. And then you're good to go, good to use the nail gun. Hi everybody, today we're gonna be using glasses on because you always have to have your safety glasses on the lab. We're going to make sure we have long pants on and closed toed shoes. Right. So if you are prepared there, you're ready to use this nail gun or brad nail. Right, so, so when using a nail gun, you have to make sure that our foot is like, depth, like deep enough and that we have the right size of nail. And so always keep your finger away from the trigger until you're ready to like nail in your board. So right here we're going to hold it down, make sure our finger is out of the way though. Then we're going to push this down, put our finger on the trigger, squeeze. Thank Hi you. Hi everybody, <laughs> Carly again. So just to reflect on what we learned in lab today when using the compressed and the nail gun. Um, and then we also learned some safety tips. So when using the nail gun, don't point it at people, but you guys all know that because you're great students. Um, but you use it when you want to quickly like nail something in um, and get it to stay. So like we were framing in the lab today and so we use the nail gun to put like the trim on the door and um, just simple projects that it, it's just quick and easy. Sometimes you won't always have access to a nail gun but it's super nice. 
And then with the compressed air, you guys learned how to um, hook the nail gun up to the compressed air hose. Um, remember, when you're done, always put stuff away and keep your workstations clean. Um, don't br blow your clothes off with the compressed air, though. Um, so we went over proper PEE and all sorts of things like that today. And um, someday, if you ever get a job in construction or you're helping your dad, like you'll know how to run a nail gun, and that'll be super awesome. So I really hope you guys enjoyed lab today, um, and you know how to safely operate the nail gun now. So have a great day. Bye.